So anyway, we I took an impromptu, not impromptu. This, we just had this whole conversation. I should just start recording the second I got in the car. It was just a little overwhelming. Atlanta where do we, airport. I don't is even not know where to begin. To it's like I don't even know where to begin. Like, how do we? Well, when you? Manuela came out of her mother's womb. No, bitch. Because then we come back. When we both decided to come into this fucking universe, we decided to come back together, <laughs> and we decided to find each other, and we found each other. And now we're best friends, and she happened to move from Orlando to Atlanta a few years back. While when we became friends, you were already here. Yeah. And so now I have a long distance boo. <laughs> and have you ever heard? I I yesterday I was watching like a TikTok or a video of some sort, and they were talking about how like the, the theory of like souls being like forged in a cauldron, like and it's it's like witchy. No, that's no idea. Like that took. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that went like complete. Like, the other like yeah, yeah, what? I was like, for sure, I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, and that's why they say like souls are like connected because they were made in the same cold. Oh, sorry, I can't do this. I like they're that's made in the same cauldron. It's just like, okay, yeah. but that's the same concept. You know what? It's it's like, everyone has a different way of saying. No, but it's like the same thing as a uh, what's it called? Um, like primordial soup. Yeah, it's like the same thing. It's like we're all we're all like just random cells and shit and then yeah yeah, yeah. you know so it's, it's like the same concept just like witchy version I guess. yeah 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 it's the witchier version mm. sam and i are both scorpios guess her birthday Scorpy. guess her birthday guess my birthday <laughs> no context like, what the yeah <laughs> uh october 25th october 28th tell me that's not crazy so weird but funny enough <laughs> we were just saying in the car I may be two years older, but I'm always just up bloop, behind Manuela with like, yeah. when we talk about like spiritual stuff, when we talk about like our journeys, I'm like always just like a teeny tiny bit behind, well, well, or which is perfect. Well, like not a bad way. <laughs> like, it's like, not a bad way. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, I can say something in the middle. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. I don't no, been there. The craziest thing to me is that we have had such parallels, even down to like weeks, like sometimes days. Tell each other, like, totally, totally late, I'm like. No, no, no. Are you experiencing that exact same thing? Okay, this is, I'm experiencing this it. This is why I'm here. Okay, this is why I'm here. I should tell you that the reason I'm here is to visit Sam because I feel that I'm coming to a chapter. Like, I feel that I've become very aware of some cycles that I was in that I don't want to participate in anymore. I've been actively trying to reverse slash end. And I feel that now, in continuation with my Reiki uh, sessions and healing and stuff, which I've been trying to keep you guys up with, up to date with. Um, I'm in between my, my first and my second, so I'm, I'm going to do my second session when we get back. And I just have this feeling of like, you know what, the completion of this, this process of, mm -hmm. of the process that I've kind of been going through needs to be, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like sacrimonial. That's the word. It feels kind of like a sacrimony. Like, like I want to come here and do this to, to really mark that moment of like, the cycle ending. And if you know anything about manifesting, one of the best things you can do when you are becoming someone new is put yourself in a new environment mm -hmm. with no expectations and like let yourself be, you know? Yeah. So I feel like and that, with good energy. Oh no. <laughs> the vibes are already vibing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the vibes have been vibing hard. Um, so I was like, wow, perfect. And it just happened. Universal timing, divine timing is the most beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Sam and I, she has family in Florida, lived in Florida, moved to Atlanta. I can come here sometimes, but I don't come here very often <clears throat> because she's pretty much the, her and one other friend are pretty much the only people I would come up here for. Yeah. Um, so we, I don't really come up here often, but we always try to figure out when we can meet, when I can go up, when she can come down and we're always trying to coordinate and it feels like it never really works out. Mm -hmm. And then when it does, it just does. We talked about it and literally the next day my flight was booked. Well, I think too, I think this is nice for us because for the first time in a, like a really long time, we actually get like time where like just a lot that. of times we're like, we get like a day, like no, not even a day, like girl, a couple hours. Talk about the synchronicities in our life. This is also you celebrating a closure to your cycles. Oh, for sure. I just realized you just, this is, you have been going through this whole thing with the house, with moving, with who, who you've been living with, with like everything. Writing, like everything. With the writing, everything. And that's And you I moved what, last weekend? Two weekends ago. Um, two weekends ago. And it's a new moon, baby. It's a, it's new, a new moon. Today. It's a new moon. Today. It's today. No, it's been kind of crazy. Like, to the point where I'm like, it's like, it doesn't really mean anything. No. At the same time, it's like, but what, what are the does it not? <laughs> what mean, are nothing, the chances? No, uh, and nothing has changed. We know. Oh, that. my God. And you know what? I did my first Reiki session 
on the last new moon. What the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> Based. Dylan um, has definitely changed her attitude. Yeah. All of a sudden, she is like, I am Dylan's here for scared. this girl's party. I'm sorry, baby. She was very scared when my mother got in. I'm sorry. It's but funny. now she's like, You know what's crazy, though? I was thinking about this. Not to be that person. I was wearing my ex's uh, flannel. Don't get me started. <laughs> Dogs, no. And no, no, no. And you know what the weird part is? That I was having a conversation with somebody about uh, oh. material. Hold on, baby. That was so cute. About, okay, this is fine. I do too. But anyway, we're talking about like material things having like memory or like material things having like attachment. For sure. And I thought about that this morning because I wasn't going to wear it because I'm like, I can't remember the last time I wore this. And I'm like, I feel like I should get rid of it by now. I technically bought them. I bought it. Right. I used it like once. And I was right. like, I kind of want it for me, but then he liked it. So he was going to keep it. But it's kind of funny. I'm like, hmm. First thing you do is freak out. I changed. And now she's like. I didn't even think about how you changed. No, in my no. head, I was just like, oh, well, also time has passed. And. Like, she had to get used to it, but I'm like, oh yeah, you changed yep. out of the f***ing flannel. Yup. And she's like, who are you? Weird. You're so nice, I love you. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to be here Thursday to Sunday, so I'll just be vlogging the whole time. Um, we're going to make so much content while we're here. It's going to be a lot. Get, wait for us at the I gym. So, get us oh the gym. my god. I forgot my mics. We'll figure it out. I'm so excited. This is just the beginning, and we've already recorded like 30 hours. See you in a bye. bye. I love the animals. First of all, editing your own stuff will make you super hyper aware of yourself. And I don't know if you've heard it because I might have edited it out at this point, but I started off so many conversations with listen. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you do that with me too, so at least it's authentically you. <laughs> oh God, okay. Okay, so. Sam wants me to try these. I'm going to record on here. Okay, Sam wants me to review these. She says they're... Not good. They're not good. It's no, the back... No, to be specific, she said they taste like caca. The aftertaste... <laughs> that is, yeah. Caca. The aftertaste is caca. Smell. The smell smells good. Smells like... Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's really Halloween. Yes. Get ready, Fall. though. Get ready. a lot of spice. A lot of spice. A lot Get of Get ready. They're really hard. What is that back end? Why does that taste so bad? Right? It would maybe salivate a lot. <laughs> it's <laughs> not good. Why, why does that aftertaste? It has an artificial flavor to it. So artificial. Like Super. it's like Is that monk? Well, they have it's, it's stevia a, extract and monk fruit extract. And you know what that should have on lines? Like a 4.7 out of 5. Ooh, this tastes like says who? This tastes almost like unbaked. It's so not good. It's like raw flour, kind of. It's not good. Raw like flour. But you know when it, you know how it's good. I mean, just two. Yeah, if you keep eating and then you never have the aftertaste, it's fine. <laughs> but I put it in like um, some yogurt. Okay, you can't let your saliva get too much into it because it dissolves and then it's like really. Yeah. The aftertaste is wild. The, it's not, it's weird. It's like sugar alcohol. It's not good. I think that's definitely it. It makes me salivate a lot. That's really it weird. Makes me throw up a lot. <laughs> I don't want to keep eating them, but my stop. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I'm confused because I feel that at the end of me eating it, when I swallow the aftertaste, I feel like it coats my tongue. Like I feel like I, and it makes me like salivate a ton. <gasps> Let me tell you. Wait, me. what? Wait, what? What's this one? Spray. Oh, show this one, show this one. Cinnamon bun. Oh, hell spray. yeah. Wait, Wait what? That's a lot of focus. I also can take off my headphones. Oh, okay, that's fine. No, it's fine. Because I've already had this, but you have a little dibble dabble. Listen, we have Arequipe. It's gonna be. What is this? Cinnamon bun. This is like dulce de leche? Girl. <laughs> that like swirls into like some banana bread. Like Just all the things. It. Like a cheesecake. <gasps> swirled to a cheesecake. Just spoonfuls. It's so good. That's good. That's dangerous. 60 calories, one tablespoon. <laughs> not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And you can it. combine it. Don't even. Don't make give it me that. Don't, don't give me that nonsense. I feel like this is making my stomach upset. I am so sorry. My mouth is still coated. To Catalina Crunch. I really Catalina wanted to like this, but like, please 
the back, like figure out I'm why that sure. back end flavor is so rough. Like, and to whoever rated that four point, what, five out of five? No. No. Have you ever had a cinnamon toast crunch? Because yes, I understand that they're not good for you, but like, they're not the same. Yeah. But also still the cal, it's the same calories, a little bit more protein. This is 110 calories for half a cup. Bullshit. And it's actually, it's probably more calories because usually, uh, it's probably less cereal, calories. Cereal, oh, yeah. It's less more. calories because you're just going to spit them out. <laughs> the black, um, just get so the eight, eight dollars down the gut. <laughs> I don't want to do with this. I don't even want to do it for a homeless person. No. They, they'd be mad at Use me. it as fertilizer. Can you imagine if you got that as a homeless person? They're like, who the fuck? Imagine if you got a homeless, if you get it to a homeless person, they were upset. Yeah, I feel like they probably would be. What's worse? <laughs> we were gonna go to the gym, but it's currently 7.47 and we're making dinner. So I think today we're going to stay in, which honestly I'm totally cool with because I got my period. My cramps are going crazy right now. My back is hurting. I got like five, four, five hours of sleep. I'm tired, but I'm ready for this food. I'm like, I'm ready for this food. Just raw. <laughs> <laughs> we love a raw chicken. <laughs> Bruh, speaking of raw chicken, yesterday there was a crash on um Tuesday Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, how do raw chickens play into this? And um, the, it was like a trailer truck that had overturned, and it was a no. bunch of chickens. But it was like, they were like, ready to be. Everything were they was, dead or alive? Yeah, they were dead. Oh, I thought they were alive. But it was like straight up just chicken bodies. Looking like they were ready to go be a rotisserie and they was just all over the highway. <laughs> that is I tragic. I felt really bad because I was like, damn, not only did we kill them, but then we just spilled them all over the place. No, what's it called? Like when you like mess with like bodies after they've, what's it called? Like people who like gra dig graves. What's it called? Grave digger? I don't yeah, know. but it's called like something body. Oh, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I but you know, I got that za. <laughs> So I'm about to go take my medicine, my Atlanta grade, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to do that. So if I come back here, my eyes are a little smaller. Don't you be saying that. I know they are. Don't be worried about it. You go do that too. We can come back and it's like we're hanging out <laughs> all smoking, you know? Um, this is a parking lot. <laughs> one love. One love. I don't, I don't have I'm gonna put. Are you cool with putting these sriracha sprinkles on your mouth? Yes, I'm cool with anything you want. Sriracha sprinkles. My mouth is watering, dude. There's so maybe good. it is a me problem. <laughs> the mouth watering. Really. I let that simmer. That's a hot ass thing. Don't spring. Okay, wait. Am I trying to? Yes, because I've never tried. This. Okay. <laughs> so it's just been a food tasting day. Okay. Okay, my turn to expose Sam to new deliciousness. Uh, and chomp. The, and chomp. Chomp, chomp. Uh, French onion, Greek yogurt dip. Try this. Oh, oh, you can do your own chip. You can, you can do your, you can do your own thing. Well, cheers. <laughs> no, like, why did the only the Greek yogurt part do it? That's fire. That's freaking. Oh my god. That's fire. Yes. That's. That's like. Whatever Holy expectations you have aren't good enough. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna give you a chip and I said, What have we done? Is that so good? Dude. What? Shut the front door. What do you rate it? I'd say 9 or 10 out of 10. I would like just say that. Somewhere in the middle, like, like 9.77 out of 10. Do I have it the 7.7? <laughs> <laughs> Not the numbers. <laughs> How many what? How many calories per two tablespoons? What do you think? Um, eight, seven. For two tablespoons is 35. Half of that. Oh, it just gets better. Dude, Tom's in here so Can I be a boar's head athlete? <laughs> boar's head, come sponsor me. I will. Bro, okay, wait, I want to try it with a carrot. Tell everybody. Let's try it with a carrot. Carrots. It's so good. Bruh, that's a dangerous thing. I'm telling you, I eat with broccoli and that's my favorite thing. Whatever you're using, mind you, it will just be a vessel to shovel this into your mouth. 
Hers are just fire though. It's just sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. The dip is so good. Yeah. Let me know when you try that. Okay. If you're gonna buy them all from the store, please warn me so I can go get them. There is no. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. What's your Instagram? Sam sort of. And. <laughs> Words by S E M. If you watch this, you better go. <laughs> um, and then what's your TikTok? Do you have TikTok? Sam sort of. Oh. I have one wonderfully viral video and everything else. It's gonna go viral after this. Thank you guys for support. Yeah, we really appreciate you. No, we for that, you get this one. That's for you. I was just saying, I can't get the waffles because so I will. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna. That's an after dinner thing. That's a. That's a. Let's see how much. Yeah. Okay, do you want to smoke before we eat? Yeah. No, not. Coming out to live. <laughs> Hiding my ears again. <laughs> um, this goes crazy. <laughs> I do be do be. We do we do be.